the demonstration of the QUV Accelerated Weathering Tester. This unit reproduces the damage caused by sunlight, rain, and dew in a few days or weeks. It can reproduce the damage that occurs over months or years outdoors. Equipped with solar eye iridescence control, control automatic feedback loop system, Everything is monitored and precisely maintained. It is powered by 120 volts, single phase, requiring a 16 amp service. Now, first we'll start by showing you the power switch in the rear. This is the only thing you really have to be concerned of, so I'll turn it off. This is your main power this is your main power line. Also, it requires a supply of water as well. Um, you can either use your uh, DI water from your house or you can use a charge bo bottle canister. Um, this is important. There is a cover on here. And as you can see, this float will allow water to come into the chamber And if for any reason it should get stuck, there is an overflow valve here. Now, first we're going to take a look inside. Uh, right now I have this running on condensation. Uh, we'll get to showing you how to set things up in just a moment. Both sides are identical. Each one of these can be taken out. Uh, as you can see, all you have to do is take out a, the retaining rings and you can move your workpiece, put it in, your sample, your plastics, your metals, or whatever you're testing. Slide that back into place. There we go. one and there's the other just a simple clip you got to pull with them a little bit to make sure they're snug but once you have them in you're all set then you can replace this back in here as well um, this port here is where you would hook up the calibrator this is for calibrating uh, when using the UV uh, exposure in there the way this would work is that the calibrator would be placed in here and simply s slips in the slot. There you go, like that. There is a very clear written procedure in the user's manual on how to use this, but for purposes of our demonstration, let me plug it in for you. door here and then once you plug this in here it'll activate your calibrator so you can calibrate at the two different wavelengths Next, I'll show you the two operating modes. There is both, again, UV exposure, which would reproduce the weathering as caused by the sun's rays. And of course, there's moisture, uh, condensation in the form of rain or other uh, precipitation. The programming is pretty straightforward. Uh, they've made a really nice, for all their products, a laminated flowchart of the programming. And if you just follow the arrows, you will uh, be able to program this thing fairly easy. Uh, there are descriptions for all the different operating modes in the user's manual. Let me start off here by 
we're pre as again we're presently in the condensation mode now the timer on both the UV mode and the um, condensation mode uh, goes from one hour to almost infinite 9,000 hours the purpose of having that long cycle time is because you want to try to reproduce and simulate what would happen let's say over a month of time in direct sunlight so programming is pretty simple um, I'm going to stop the system now just a note when you stop the system and it is uh, in condensation mode it turns the blower on for a short period of time to cool the system down now let's say we wanted to change to UV light we could hit program then you can use the scroll keys to go up and down we'll select here enter and I've set up some programs I'm going to change to program a cycle a rather enter and I'm going to change from see I can change from condensation or UV I'm going to select UV accept the changes and hit run now at the start of either process there will be this message error that comes up here it's not really an error it's more of a delay okay it is checking the relay that would turn on the system and once it is satisfied that as you can hear it is turned on the system now you'll note that when we go over to the displays here this display is actually display displaying the wavelength of the uh, concentration of the UV light. This is our actual temperature. This is our step time, which we set to one hour. This is the overall time. And this is a counter. Now, if we open the side here, we will see that the UV light is on. Always remember that UV light is dangerous if you look directly at it. So if there is a lot of exposure, such as if I look off to the side here, you should make sure that you have your UV glasses on. These are typically the type of filter glasses that you should be wearing when working with UV. Just to take another walk around the back. Again, this is set up identically. So you can work from both sides. This is a very easy machine to operate. It's very well made, simple to, um, to work with. And this completes this demonstration.